for a few experiments and dare we say a few explosions here on WTOL 11 your date. Jeff Stevenson from the Imagination Station is here with a, a simulation, I suppose, of a grain elevator explosion experiment. Yes, and since we are doing an explosion experiment, we should put some safety goggles okay. on first, right, Chris? I, I copy that, my friend. Exactly, exactly. And what we're talking about is grain elevator explosions, but we want to talk about the safety of how to prevent explosions, okay. right? So we got to learn a little bit about them first. So um, you may have seen those big tall towers that um, hold sure. grain near farms and things they like that. They got a couple that. of them just down the river, too. They got a couple of them down Coming the river. Into downtown Toledo. What a lot of people don't realize, a lot of grain gets into the air, a lot of dust. Same with like sawmills or if you have like a factory oh. that, you know, makes baby powder or something like that. There's, there's a lot of flammable material, grain, sawdust, all that's very flammable and it's just in the air. And is that is that a safety issue? We're we're gonna find out. All right. Okay. So just to, I have some very flammable. You're this, forming a hypothesis. I'm forming a hypothesis. We're gonna do the scientific method today, All right. Chris. Sounds good. So I have some. I know this stuff is combustible. Okay. It's called lycopodium. It's actually a really really fine spore from like a fern-like plant. All right. So I know it's really really combustible, even more combustible than sawdust. So what I want you to do is, can you take this blowtorch, turn it on, and come in from the top and just light that stuff on fire? And we're gonna see just. Okay, that's good, that's good. So it's, we, we combusted it, right? I toasted it. You toasted it, but it, it really wasn't like an explosion. No, right? it wasn't. Right, so we'll, we'll just put that out. We'll, we'll take away some of that oxygen there so that goes out. But what we wanna do is think about how it is in a, a sawmill factory where you go in and there could be dust all over the place, okay. right? And that's because all those particles could be surrounded by more oxygen. So um, we built this little device here to kind of show how that same material, I have lycopodium inside of my tube here, and I'm gonna uh, blow air through it and it's gonna be more oxygenated because it's gonna be in the air. And so if I kind of point it this direction. Ooh. You can see that it, with more oxygen, you have a much more dangerous situation. Do you, do you uh -huh. wanna try? I have one for you too. Uh, sure. All right, all right, so you're gonna, you're gonna hold on to the scent and you're gonna inhale. I'll go ahead, I'll go ahead and light it for you, don't worry. We're gonna it, try. I blow the blow gently through blow it. gently through okay. All right, one, two, three. Whoa, excellent, excellent. So more oxygen is definitely a more dangerous situation. Okay. Right? Um, so then the question is, you know, we started out with it kind of flat on the ground, not as much oxygen, but still flammable. Sure. We added more oxygen. Now, what happens if we were to contain that? Okay. You know, so we're gonna- In we're, like a grain elevator. This in, is the grain elevator. So if you had an elevator Similar. in, you know, one of those grain towers, if it was contained, okay. what would we do? So we're gonna put on a little bit more safety gear because, you know, if we're containing an explosion, that means there's gonna be a little bit of pressure built up. So what I have here is I, I, I have a grain elevator. Isn't it beautiful? It it's, is. It's a, it's a paint can, okay? I, I wasn't fooled. <laughs> I, I never get you, Chris. I never get you. But inside of it, I have a little funnel there. Okay. And we're gonna be, you're gonna be pumping some air. Okay. So when you squeeze this, see how there's a little bit of like a podium? I'm gonna add a little bit more. Okay. But you're gonna be squeezing that. All right. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a little like a podium here. And before you squeeze that, why don't you go ahead and set that down for a second? Because okay. I need you to do me a favor. I need you to, we need, we need a spark, right? Every combustion reaction needs to have a spark of sure. some sort. So if you want to grab that blowtorch right there, and I have a sparkler. And what's great about this is that, you know, it doesn't have to be like an open candle or a blowtorch. It could just be a broken outlet. Okay. A spark, literally a spark. So if you, if you want to take both, take both of these here, yep, perfect. Now, um, you're going to have to light it and put it not in the funnel. You take a look there. Got it. Put it right over here. All right, are you ready? Yep. Go ahead and light it. Okay, go, drop it in not in the funnel. Perfect. So I'm going to contain the situation here. Now give it a squeeze. That can be what happens if there's combustible material in the air in a contained situation. Do you want to do it one more time? Yeah, I do. We, we that do, was we, really, that we, was super cool. We can do it one more time. Here, let right. me, I got, another, I got another sparkler here. Here you go. I know there's a lot of steps here, a lot of steps, okay. don't worry. All right, you got, you got, and remember, not in the funnel. Yeah. Go ahead and drop it in. I'm gonna contain it in our elevator. You're gonna put the material into the air. Squeeze. Excellent. So, you know, we want to obviously avoid these types of safety situations, right? You know, we don't, we don't want this to kind of thing happen. So, you know, they take all kinds of preventative measures. They have safety people sure. come in. It's just something to think about. Do a little bit of science, control some different variables, scientific method, just like you said. That's called knocking the top off science, <laughs> Jeff. Appreciate that. Excellent. What's going on with you guys at the Imagination Station? Well, we're actually coming up to Scientific Sweetness the week leading up to uh, Valentine's Day. So if you want to come in and learn about um, uh, different candies and sweetness and what happens if I put candy in a vacuum chamber, I don't know if you think you have a good palate or not. 
Uh, some people think they have really high sensitive right. taste. Okay. You can come test that out at Imagination right. Station. Sounds good. We'll check you guys out. Jeff, Sounds thank great. you so much. Stay with us. We have more WT11 Your Day in just a moment.